as a New York Film Academy in 2000, uh, 2000. it finished in 2001, and I shot it uh, in 16mm, not super 16mm, and then we have to transfer it to 35 and uh, it was a big uh, mess to do that, because in Greece we didn't have the labs for that, but uh, we managed to do it by cutting the mask in the frame, and uh, I'm very glad that <laughs> I like this film. I mean, after that I, I did uh, many elaborate, more, more elaborate films in the way that I have all the technical equipment and maybe a better story. Uh, but uh, I did that by myself with uh, just uh, three people that were helping me uh, in New York, in cold New York, uh, in February of 2000. And I still recall the moments that uh, we didn't even have the lights. So the actors were coming with the cars to light the scene. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used the camera, you saw this, uh, this uh, frame, you saw this uh, picture that didn't have net. Uh, but uh, all, overall, I think it worked a bit with the fantasy play of uh, the main character that uh, this Latin uh, girl played, Cristina Romero. I had to audition <laughs> for that film. 50, 50 uh, actresses came, and that's because that in New York it's so difficult for an actor to get a job that they can do it for free. She helped me for uh, 10 days for free. Uh, doing this illegal thing to, to travel in the subway, the metro, it was illegal, we, we got arrested two times, yes, it was a big uh, problem to start in uh, the underground of New York, but she wanted the soul, so for the aspiring actors, if there's anyone here, they just wanted the soul, they didn't want to pay to get paid, they wanted the soul to go on to something more professional, maybe. And uh, it's very easy to find uh, good actors in New York. But actually I had another story before and uh, the actors didn't appear, didn't come. So I have to create a story, a new story in three days. The title came from an Oklahoma musical. It's a song, Give Me the Rose and the Glove. So when I saw it in the lab, in the post-production, I said, what am I going to do with this? It's all crap. And then I edited and uh, I found a story maybe in the editing room. So it was like a, a composition, a composition uh, uh, editing in some way. Uh, I did a script, uh, I wrote the script again in the editing room. It, it was like a, an experimental film and this is, why not doing an experimental film? Sometimes it might be better than writing, uh, you know. I would like to make a comment about the music, thank you very much for your words. Uh, Yoros of Anabolos Kazilakis is the adopted mm -hmm. son of Manos Kazilakis, one uh, of our most famous composers from Greece. And I'm very honored that he gave me the rights to use this very famous uh, song uh, from, it's called Hamoyel of Chokonta, mm -hmm. the, uh, the first song, the, or the orchestral song.